I think it was season two where I toilet papered and stink bombed his trailer. <laughs> uh, and I think that's when we realized that if he and I prank each other, it would get really, really bad very quickly. <laughs> we decided to join forces. And so we really were able to focus our efforts on Misha. <laughs> I like messing with Misha. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we always make fun of Misha because we work every day. You know, and Misha, he works a lot, but sometimes he won't work for like two or three weeks. Um, and then we'll see him again and we'll be like, hey, like, what's the deal? He's like, oh, I was off vacationing. And so, uh, so we were like, Rrr. You know, sometimes I'll be a late night of shooting and I want to go home and see your wife kids. Yeah, whatever, you know. Get a few hours of sleep before the next day, and uh, there'll be no air in the tires in my car. That's right. That one wasn't meant to be so mean. I thought we'd probably wrap by like 11 p.m., so I let all the air out of his tires. Um, but we ended up shooting till like 2 or 3 a.m. But by then, like, what am I gonna do? Put air back in his tires? <laughs> so I went home. <laughs> He rides his own car to work and parks it near where our trailers are. Why would you do that? One time he parked his car really near to my trailer and I, I had a scene, I had, a, I had a, like a two hour break in the middle of the day and I was like, hmm. <laughs> we, tried to, we tried to like track his keys down to move his car and we were putting uh, like mayonnaise underneath the door handle and stuff like that. Maybe I shouldn't be teaching. <laughs> I put some cooked fish. Oh yeah, I <laughs> forgot to even mention that. We put fish in my car. Under the <laughs> under the seat. Well, you have to you tell get, us. How'd you get in my car? I broke into your trailer, God stole the it. <laughs> here's here's the exact genesis of it. So it, it's between scenes, and I think Misha stays. I go back. So to my unprofessional. No, it was amazing professional. Are you kidding? No one knew it. It was like. Still. So I walk into my trailer and there's some fish there from lunch. And as soon as I open my trailer door, I'm like, that fish smells. I'm going to put it in Misha's car. So I go walk to Misha's door. I knock. Misha, hey, it's Jared. Hey, buddy. You in here? Hey, I just want to ask you a question. No answer. Sweet. Open it up. With the key. Sneak over. Like, <laughs> Um, I, I just put it under his passenger seat, his, his back seat, so I opened the back seat door and I put it under the passenger seat. There like three or four pieces. And under the driver's seat, actually. Yeah. yeah, 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 I forgot that, yeah. I didn't know if he had found the driver's seat one, so I didn't want to, <laughs> I didn't want to give away the secret right now. But yeah, he found it. But you found it, you thought it was West. I found it the next day because my car smelled terrible. And, uh, and I found the fish under, under the passenger seat first. And I was like, damn, are those kids? They're such a mess. They left these giant pieces of fish. And then when I found it on the other side, I was like, oh, fucking Jared. There was no, I immediately, I mean, it was also the size of the pieces of fish. Like, the, I always give them like a bite-sized morsel of something. And it's like, that's really full fillets. That's a big fish for, for a baby to be eating. That was a, came out of nowhere. I can't believe you forgot to tell me. Clearly, it didn't make enough of an impression. I need to kick it up a notch. <laughs> no, wait, see, I can't. I'll, 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 so I'll get pranked back. So, anyway, we probably shouldn't. Have yeah. y'all heard of Words with Friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's like, it's basically Scrabble, but it's for free. You know, your iPhone, or your Android, stuff like that. I, I, I love the game, and I'm playing it all the time on set, because I have friends in Texas, and my family, and blah, blah. And so he's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm playing Scrabble. It's called Words with Friends. And he's like, ah, oh, all right, you want to play? And I was like, sure. And so we played, and I won. And I won by 11 points or something. And so he was so mad that he was like, let's make it interesting. And I was like, let's make it interesting. And he goes, 10 bucks a point to the winner. And I was like, okay, usually games end in like five, 15, you know, so I was like, man, someone's gonna, you're only like 150 bucks, you know? I'm like, you're gonna owe me a lot of money, because I'm talking trash, you're gonna owe me a couple hundred bucks. We, we shake on it and we agree to it, everybody sees. And we start playing and immediately I get a word that was worth like 160 points. <laughs> yeah. So he 
he's now losing by like 140 points <laughs> times $10 a point. Like it's, and I was like, Misha, look, we can call this a wash, but he's too stubborn. He's like, no, don't talk to me. <laughs> and he's like, how is this guy, didn't go to high school, this gar gargantuan moose man, like, like, beating me in Scrabble and spelling? Um, he didn't know that I was an academic myself. <laughs> The game's over, and I win by, I think, like 205 points. <laughs> um, and so, I'm like, Misha, look, we're buddies, like, you don't have to pay me. If it was like 50 bucks, I'd like to pay me, but it's going to be $2,000. I was like, I was like, no, you got a kid, you got a wife. I don't want this money. And he was like, no, you get the money, get out of my face. <laughs> And I was like, all right, all right, if you're going to be that way about it, then give me my money. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so he, uh, he didn't give my money for a long, long time. I didn't know why, but I was like, Misha, how long does it take to go to a bank? How long does it take to go to a bank? He's like, where's my money? I was just talking trash. And finally, um, I'm on set, uh, and everybody's kind of acting a little strange. And it's been like a month, two months. I'm like, why is everybody kind of like looking at me funny? Am I flying? Am I flying? <laughs> my face and so finally it's in between takes and I go out to my trailer and I open the door and there is two thousand <laughs> over two thousand dollars in change <laughs> I think there were over a hundred thousand coins there were like seventy eight thousand pennies <laughs> and it turns out the reason he took so long is because he had to drive around to eight banks asking for all the <laughs> He, it was actually, so I had spent hour, an hour cleaning it up with a shovel. I literally went and got a shovel from the set. And so I put it into three pockets, and when he was on set, I stuffed his keys, and I unlocked his car, and I poured one of the buckets into his car. And I wrote, Dear Misha, thanks for paying your debt. Um, now, if you'd be so kind, please make this uh, donation payable to your rescue. I think it's about $700. <laughs> And I signed it, and it was so, it was all over his car, and so he couldn't clean it. It was sloshing around in my car as I was driving to and from work for several days. <laughs> he said every time that he'd stop, the chain would go, <laughs> and he'd be like, yep, yep. Um, one of our drivers got a shot back, and I cleaned it up, and he was like, I cleaned that stuff up for Misha. And I go, what? <laughs> he goes, yeah, yeah, I got the shot back, and I vacuumed it up. He's like, why would you do that? He looks at me and goes, do you want me to put it all back? <laughs> And I was like, what? Yes. No, I guess not. I guess it's a good time. But then we, we donated that money to his charity and the rest to a, a, a ride for cancer charity that our first AD participates in. So it went to the... Do you still have some change in there? Yeah, it keeps falling out of new places. <laughs> I found change in the, I found change in my trailer stuff. It was in the little vent by the... A year, year later. later. A year later? Wow. Oh, that's good. I have the AT&T plan up in Canada, which is, uh, it's like having a second mortgage. <laughs> very, very expensive. And every text, incoming or outgoing, costs 50 cents. So you have to choose your texts wisely. And, I don't, you can't see this, but each of these bubbles represents a single letter. <laughs> long-winded uh, birthday salutation that I got at uh, 2 a.m. on my birthday from Jared Pellet. There are hundreds of them. I, I, it started going off, right? I was like, right, bing, bing. And my phone was right next to my bed, and I got up, and I was like, that groggy statement. Uh, uh, oh, no. That's all that's was coming from Jared, and immediately seeing single letters in that text box. I was like, Oh, fuck you. <laughs> they just kept coming. Bing, bing, bing. And then towards the end, like about 68, they just start blank. Just blank that stuff. <laughs> and I was in that groggy state, like, help, stop. And I'm thinking, what can I do? My phone in the toilet? <laughs> and uh, I shut my phone off. And then, uh, and then in the morning, when I turned my phone on, I was like, bing, 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 bing. <laughs> uh, so anyway, that was funny for him. <laughs> And additionally, you have to deal with Jensen and Jared, which must be hard. Please don't, please don't say those names, it makes me very angry. <laughs> when Misha was going to direct, 
we were getting all these questions about what are you going to do to him? How much are you going to prank him? <laughs> what kind of pranks are you guys thinking? Jared and I weren't going to do anything. <laughs> and then he and I got together and I'm like, wow, I think we really owe it to the fans. <laughs> Um, they one they only worked together on that episode for one day, which was so lucky uh, because they they fan each other. They're they're okay when they're by themselves, but when they get together, they're they're like the devil. <laughs> you know that day when they were both together, they they pied me in, in the face a couple of times. There was a few people on the crew who felt bad for me, who, like, who knew that directing is a big job and you have a lot to think about. And so people would come up to me and say things like, hey man, don't tell them that I told you, but run to your car. And I was like, thanks for the tip. I run to my car, just as I get in, I shut the door, boom, water balloon hits the window. I just got in. The water balloons? Yeah. Uh, uh, fall through the chair. So in the director's chairs, you could actually rig them to where they look like they're supposed to look. And then when you sit, you go right through. I only fell for that twice. <laughs> the third time, I was like, ah, ah, ah. So what we were gonna do is we were gonna prank. We were gonna prank him to some degree every day. And then I actually have here on day six or seven, no pranks. <laughs> So he's just waiting for it all day, and it never comes, and it's like, it should drive him crazy. Yeah, it's a stressful environment, as if I didn't have enough to think about. But you did really a great job, so we hope for more next season. Thank you very thank you. much, thank you. Uh, hi, go ahead. Hi. Uh, we hear a lot of stories about uh, Misha being pranked by you and Jared. Uh, do you have some kind of criteria for a person to be pranked, or are you just thinking about Misha? Yeah, it's just Misha. What is it about him? He's Misha. Uh, yeah, the pranks, you know, sometimes they... And it just depends on what mood we're in. We work a lot. And if we come on set and we're in a good mood, you're standing there and you're trying to be all serious, bad news for you. <laughs> I think that was, the, that was Misha's big mistake. He took himself too seriously, and Jared and I looked at each other and were like, well, oh, this ain't gonna last for long. <laughs> no, honestly, uh, you know why? Because... I think it's because we like him so much. Aww. Do not tell him I said that. <laughs> when guest stars or returning star or you know returning characters will come back and Jared and I start getting a little pranky with them. <laughs> um, I've actually heard crew members pull those actors aside and be like, you're in, they like you. <laughs> so I guess in a weird way it's a sign of affection. It's a sign of, of, you know, we we like them, so we make them suffer. <laughs> um, we've also had some very elaborate pranks pulled on us. Um, we uh, yeah, we had an entire shot set up around one. We uh, we were climbing down into a uh, a manhole yeah, cover like into a sewer, oh. and it was a set built, so there was this big column. So we started climbing down this little ladder in a tube, and then it was just a wall of water <laughs> came from up top, and it was uh, the, the camera guys had two five-gallon buckets of cold water <laughs> on top of both of us. Uh, it was courtesy of Kim Manners, our director at the time. 